Hi, welcome to this week's magic vlog. Uh, lots to do this week. Some uh, a really cool special guest, Matthew Johnson, will be here uh, performing his incredible effect called The Moment, which is really worth seeing. It's a great effect. It's been released. It's on the market. But we get to see Matthew perform it for me live at the uh, my favorite local cafe. They seem to enjoy me going down there and bringing in some friends and doing magic. Uh, but uh, my own release this week, I've got some great products to review. I'm going to look at some Silly Billy stuff and something else that's coming that I think is absolutely incredible. Uh, but uh, first of all, something that I've just released this week, it's my six card repeat routine. Now for years I've opened up my act with six card repeat. Actually I also have a five card repeat for, for sort of family audiences and kids and so on. So this is two different versions. It's um, So this is the book here. It's part of the Pro Series book. If you get the Pro Series books you'll know that these are routines that are well known routines that I've taken a look at and spent you know 20 years working on and perfecting. I changed this because I didn't like the gimmicks that were out there. There was a few basic gimmicks out there but I wanted something that was quite different in the handling and so I developed this gimmick for six card repeat and this is what this book is about it's about the gimmick that I use and you can easily make it yourself you can actually do this with uh, jumbo cards as well so sometimes I work 1500 seat theaters on cruise ships so I need a bigger version so it's perfect for that so in other words you can you can it looks like you've spent 20 years working on it and you've just spent a little bit of time with the gimmick playing with it getting comfortable with it and then there's two different routines in the book there's the uh, stand-up routine I do for in comedy clubs and cruise ships it's a very funny routine and then there's my family audience routine which uses uh, different cards and I explain all that in the book but I show you how to make it up and then uh, so if you perform six card repeat you'd, you may want to check this out because it's a great routine also the handling is quite different especially the way I've designed the gimmick and if you've never done six card repeat and you want to and you want to have a really different sort of gimmick that enables you to do it quite uh, uniquely than any others out there then check it out so it's only twenty dollars it's six card repeat uh, available from HocusPocus.com, of course. Everything here is available from Hocus Pocus. So that's uh, that's uh, that, that's what I've been up to this week. I've got a couple of other things I'm going to share with you. But it's time now to check out my very special guest, headed down to the coffee shop, and let's enjoy some magic with none other than Matthew Johnson. So we're at JJ Bean's coffee shop again. This is actually all on the same day. We've got nothing else to do. We've been um, here six hours. Six hours? Six hours. I've only got parking for two. So... Um, I'm going to make a prediction of a, a moment in time. Um, actually, Paul, what we're going to get you to do is just sign the bottom of the page there. The only reason you're doing this is because when I do this, people are so freaked out that they actually think I've got like 50 predictions throughout the pad, one on each page. So uh, I, I'm going to bring a few things into play. We've got a, a hot chocolate, a glass. Uh, we've got your, uh, what is that? That's the, uh, let, let's use uh, my keys. Um, let's use uh, sunglasses. Is that okay? Yep. We'll do that. Piece of paper, maybe. Yeah? You okay with that? Yep. All right. I'm going to write a prediction on the pad here. Um, uh, I'm going to write it in permanent ink. That's, uh, that's what I think is going to happen. My impression of Max Maven. All right, here we go. Now my impression of Gregory Wilson. All right, here we go. Did you get that? We'll do that again. Sorry, I did it again. Nice. All right, so make a prediction. We're going to write that. So that's now there, and it's it's written in permanent ink. I can't change it. Okay, can't change it. Now I'm going to borrow your cell phone. Can I borrow your cell phone? Yep. Right, I'm just going to turn on your cell phone here, and uh, we're just going to go into the uh, press star uh, on this on this um, latest in uh, Nokia technology. Uh, it's what cruise ship magicians use for cell phones, folks. So we're just, a tin can usually. Yeah, I, yeah, I can tell. We're just going to um, go yeah. into your photo album. Is it okay if I look at your photos? Sure. Yeah, there's nothing on there. Oh, this is what they all say. But I'm going to look in here. We're going to have a little look. We got uh, my photos, and uh, we got um, what is this? Nice kind of Shediac frozen lobster. There, look. It's Paul's uh, ball of yarn. <laughs> Stringing us along with that one, and. Uh, Oh, there's a picture of um, uh, Paul Romani and a bit of a uh, looking Andrew Girard, actually. I'm not sure what's going on with that one. And uh, also a picture of of you, two chickens, and a roll of duct tape. I'm not sure what that's about, but you have, no, your, you have your pants don't, off. Don't show that one, please. Okay. Anyways, 
So I'm going to find the alarm here. There's an alarm on here somewhere, right? Is it? Have you ever used the alarm on here? No. I Do you know it's true? Actually, 95% of people have never used the alarm on their cell phones. Did you know this? It's true. The other, the other five percent are actually sleeping right now. So, so I'm going to find the alarm on here. Good. And I'm going to set the alarm on your cell phone to go off at a specific amount of time sometime in the future. Okay, that's the idea. Uh, so that's uh, okay. That's done. So here's the thing. Come, come back to me here. So here's what's happening. I've written a prediction and it can't be changed. I've set the timer on the cell phone. It's now counting down. It can't be changed. So basically, think of me as Nostradamus with better fashion sense. Okay. So now here's the phone. We're gonna line up a few things here on the table. We're just gonna put this here where you can see it. All right. So right now the phone's counting down and I can't change it. I've set it to a time that I know. The moment that that phone goes off, the moment that phone goes off is the exact moment that the prediction will come true. That's the idea. So bring your hand into shot here, Paul. And we've got a we've got a piece of paper, a glass, we've got a coffee mug, a set of keys, a pair of sunglasses. We'll put the pen in there as well. Uh, basically, what I want you to do is you're going to put your hand over an object. You're going to keep it over there for a few seconds, infuse it into your brain, and think glass, glass, glass. Then you put it over another one. Think cup, cup, paper, pen, keys. You keep going, and if you go through them all, go again until the cell phone goes off. I have no control over it. So go ahead. So we're over the pen. The piece of paper. Wait, wait, look, 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 look. You got the, you got the phone here. Look at the phone. What's going on? See the phone's going off. Yeah. What were you over there? Glass. Okay, look. I'm just going to turn the phone off here. I had no control over that, but I knew it would take exactly 37 seconds, which is exactly how long it would take you for your hand to be over nice. the glass. And you can keep that, my friends, and tell your friends. Start the religion now. That's the moment. The moment. Go, there you go that's Matthew performing the moment a great effect you can get that from uh, Hocus Pocus of course uh, but thanks Matthew it was great to spend some time with him of course as it always is uh, let's look this week I was asked if I could review some kids magic or family style magic which I which I'll do I just uh, was at a convention recently with Silly Billy and I gotta recommend if you do any sort of family entertainment children's magic or working for families you have to have this book this is called serious silly how to entertain children with magic and comedy by David Kay, or as we know him, Silly Billy. This is a phenomenal book, and he, David does a great lecture. He's one of the top children's performers in the world today, and one of the busiest, not only performing for kids, but now he's busy doing lectures and doing the tour circuit as well. Brilliant. This is, book is filled with not just routines, but years and years of advice. Uh, great routines. I think if you ever did any sort of children uh, effect or routine or magic, you'd want to get this book. Uh, the world's best coloring book routine. His routining is just so super strong. He does uh, some ambitious card routines. Um, a lot of essays in here too, which I think are fantastic about performing for children. So this is a, a brilliant book. You can order this from Hocus Pocus. He's got some great routines for different ages as well. So from preschool, you know, three to five year olds and from seven to nine and so on. So this is a fantastic book, a hardbound, a beautiful book, but just the essays in here and the routines, it's chock a block. Something a little different now, uh, moving away from that, something maybe into the corporate area. And this package arrived, and this is, I haven't been excited about this, something like this for a long time. And I'm, I'm almost tempted not to review it, only because, uh, well, I want to perform it. And um, I don't want people in my area, back in New Zealand, doing it, but um, I'm going to review it anyway. It really is fantastic. It's this, it's called Murder by Magic by Chris Johnson. Now, it's not a magic trick. And there it is, this is part of it. It's a big kit. It's, uh, you get all the, well, it's incredible what you get. Basically what it is, is Chris has spent a long time, and this is his bread and butter for the corporate market. He's themed a show around uh, a murder mystery show, if you like. And he's incorporated some uh, standard effects, some effects that he's actually had made up. What I like about this is that you don't actually have to go out and buy any magic tricks. You've probably got everything at home that you could do this with and adapt it. So he, he goes into detail about how you can take what you have and adapt it to fit this theme. The great thing about this, and this is what I'm going to do, is if you know anything about the corporate market, you've got to have something different to offer everybody. Rather than just a magic show, you should have something a little unusual. Well, this is perfect because this is like a murder mystery night, but with magic, and it's 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 brilliant. What you get is you get everything you'll need. It's it's he's selling you the entire manuscript from the, the, his his, uh, his his speech to his marketing to his uh, routining, and then selling secrets behind it. So it's just chock a block of great advice. 
it's one of the best investments I think you could make if you want to get out there performing and offer something different to the clients or to the, the corporate market, then this is a, a themed evening. Absolutely brilliant. There's a real potential here. And as I said, he makes his bread and butter by this. And you can tell that he does just by going through it and reading it. Um, I'm just going to tell you what you get. So you get the main manual, which is the big one here. And this is the exact script that he uses, that Chris uses for his show. And this is to anybody that knows, if you were to hire somebody to sit down and write a word for word script, you'd pay thousands of dollars. So this is worth uh, so much just for the script alone. But I think the concept or the idea, it's not really, it's, it's, it's concept. However, he's taken it further because he's actually performing it, which I absolutely think is brilliant. And he's been doing it for in North America, all over North America for the past 15 years. So it's absolutely brilliant. You know it works. So you get the main manual, which is the script. And he has some other ideas and he analyzes how things work. So you can take your effects or effects that you already own and incorporate them into, into this themed act. Um, you get the secrets booklet, which is here. And he, he talks about uh, the effects that he uses in the show. So this is, this is again, everything is worth value. Uh, he talks about the different effects so that you can make these up and you can try them out yourself and different alternative endings. And then you get the marketing booklet. Now the marketing booklet to me is the key. This is what's going to get you to work. Here's the thing, you buy, this is something that you could buy the package for and the first show you double your money back on it. That's how good this is. It really is. And, I, and I've been doing magic now for 30 something years and I can tell you when I see something like this I get excited because I'm going to take this back to New Zealand and I'm going to market it myself. Which worries me slightly if people from New Zealand are watching this and uh, think I might get into that before Paul gets back. So I'll be coming back very shortly. Uh, but anyway, so you get the marketing part of it, which is which is, is worth, which is <laughs> brilliant. Uh, you can take that word for word, just change the images and, and away you go to sell it to the corporate market. And then you get alternative routines, which is here. Um, you know, if you want a longer show or a shorter show, whatever, this is just alternative ideas. So it's a, it's a, it's a great package, Murder by Magic, um, by Chris Johnson. It's a great investment. I, I'm, and I think it even, you know, it, it comes with a guarantee because if you go out and sell this correctly, you'll start to get a lot more work rather than just as a magician. You have a themed evening and it incorporates people in the audience. It's what they're looking for, something different other than a magic show. And you know, this has been somebody's bread and butter for the past 15 years and to really, for somebody to put it on the market, I think is very special. I was talking to Chris about this, funny enough, and I said, well, why are you, it's, why are you putting it on the market? It would be like me saying, here's my Charlie Chaplin act. Um, I couldn't put a value on it because um, it's my bread and butter. And Chris said, because people in his local area were starting to copy it which I think is very, very sad. So, you know, that's why he's put it on the market. He might as, he might as well put it on and, and make some extra money because sadly in this business, people do tend to rip others off. It's very sad, but, but good on Chris for doing it. It's, it's taken him a lot of time to put it together. I've got it, I'm gonna be doing it, and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. So that's, that really is my pick of, the, uh, pick of the year, maybe even, because it's such a great, great package. And it's, it's not a magic trick. It's actually way better than anything you'll ever buy regards a magic trick. Uh, we've all got too many magic tricks we need now to get out there and sell the show. And this is a concept, it's a, it's, a, it's a show that you can get out there and sell. All the marketing tools are there, everything's there. You buy this, you read it through, and I guarantee you, if you put it into practice, you'll be getting a, bringing in a lot more money income-wise and a lot more work. So that's my product review for this week. Uh, next week, uh, it's another very special guest coming along, some exciting things. And I'm going to do a really cool close-up review next week. I'm going to perform it for you right here. So come back. Check it out. I'll see you next week.